Okay, so I just heard how the date. What? Oh, that messes. I just heard how the date. Okay. Um, yeah. One second, like because so fucking um, our show is on at Michael's house. Oh. I can't even remember the name of the show right now. Yeah, is it Rainbow? It's like, Fuck. like Princess Robot something. Princess Robot Bubblegum? Is that what it is? I don't know. Shut up. I can't. Oh. Princess Robot Bubblegum, yeah. Uh, anyway. Here, can you send me a game invite and then continue on with your story? Hold on. Two, it'll be a minute. I mean, I'm just gonna watch. So I just started the date from that message. And that was the week my Xbox was in Seattle. Oh, okay. Just because like, it broke, and because I had, it, I had a, a week left on the year warranty, so I was like, I have to use it. Yeah. Or... Right. So what happened? It, it wouldn't read a disc. Right. So I told Microsoft, and like, oh yeah, I sent it just our location in Seattle. There's the address. Blah 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 blah. blah. So if I got any messages that week, I probably never read them. Oh, I see. So I wasn't trying. I I, I didn't mean to ignore them. Screw her off. Yeah. Oh, hang on. That's what's wrong. This is gonna be real loud. Actually, I can do this. That's much better. I was trying to figure out why my mic was so quiet now, and I remembered that I turned it off. If I know. Oh wait, merchandising. I fucking love Princess Robot Bubblegum. It is my favorite show on GTA 5. I would buy, like, the DVD of all seasons. Right? I know that they don't, but I really wish that there was, like, a department in GTA, like, in the GTA 5 online, right, like, Rockstar. That was like just in charge of making there be like linear. The session you're trying to join is currently full of players. Would you like to join the queue? Motherfucker. Um. Anyway. Um. But no, there needs to be a department in GTA or at Rockstar that like their entire job is for GTA Online. Or any other games like it, that they yeah. they go and just change. They go and find those little things that are like little side stuff, like TV shows and stuff like that. And the sign that I was talking about last time, where it's like, yeah, it's been 35 days since a drug arrest, and things like that. And they need to just update them, just periodically, just go and change them, make it so there's linear progression. So it's like different. I could go and check back on that every now and again. I mean, like, oh, there was a drug arrest in the community. You know, I could just look at that. Right. And then, you know, have it where there's more shows that come out. Have it where, like, I think her name's Cora, right? The host on Nonstop Pop? Is that her name? Yeah. Yeah, like, just the other day, I heard her talking about the loneliest robot in all of Great Britain. She was like, oh yeah, have you guys seen that new movie, The Loneliest Robot in All of Great Britain? I was like, Laura, that movie's been out for like three years now. It's not new at all. Like, they need to have new movies that are coming out. They need to have advertisements change and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know if they could though, because like, they might not get like, Laura to come back up. When, and other hosts. But like, that could be part of it though. Like, you could hire new ones and being like, yeah, 
I, she just left. And I'm the new host. <laughs> like, they need, they need to have that. If they had that department, GTA 5 would have, like... It would be, like, a whole new level underneath it all. I bet right, they're probably doing that with... After, if they do that, I will wait till GTA 6. I wouldn't, because, like, when are they ever going to make GTA 6? They don't need to. This is GTA 5. GTA 5 is GTA 6, and it's also GTA 7. Like, GTA 5 is the end-all of all GTAs ever. Because as soon as they go and make a new console, all they need to do is make a new GTA 5. Like, the Xbox 2 comes out, mm, yeah, just a new GTA 5. And uh, then go and set up a portable mode where, you, for like a limited time, you can go and port in GTA 5, um, Xbox One version onto the new version. Um, and then, boom, you're good. GTA 5 Online, new console, you're all set up. Or, even better, you don't need to port it over because it's on the same Xbox Live Cloud save. And then, your Xbox playing is backwards compatible. You can play with other people on the original Xbox One. And when you go and do something on, like, the Xbox Two, once you go back to your Xbox One, boom, you still got it. You got, like, all the new stuff you've yeah. worked on. Like, they don't need to make another GTA Five. This is it. They don't need to make a new GTA until, um, apparently the president of the Motorcycle Club wants to recruit me when I'm a CEO. Um, they don't need to make another GTA until they make a new console that is not compatible with the Xbox One. Like, that's why they need to make a new GTA. Yeah, yes, and no. But you also, yeah, the only reason why I say yes and no at the same time, you also have to think about PlayStation GMI. I mean, but the PlayStation is the same way. They, they, they don't have backwards compatible. Okay, but, like, that's what I'm saying, though, that they just need to make an, a new one, right, and then just make it so you can port over your old save. Yeah, but... And then boom, because that's what they did for the Xbox 360, and to the PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4. You just port it over yeah. your old save. That's what they need to do. Like, they can just do that forever. And then they're good. And, like, add new graphic updates as they go. Are you in this session that I'm in? I'm even checking. And you know what? I I don't know if I was. I don't remember who it was. Yes. I, but I was talking about I, oh what games, what fun games that people play that needs to come to the ten, Nintendo Switch. GTA. Oh. It was a oh yeah it was a total for mine. We were talking about it, and, um... You were talking about that with me, too. Yeah, I hit man. Yeah. And, I, he has a switch, and I said, he wants to see Battlefield, the switch. Yeah. And I said, oh, yeah, that, I said, that would be cool. The game I want to see for the switch, but it probably would never come out, is a GTA. Yeah, I don't think that that would, like, ever happen. It would be hella cool if it did. Yeah. Oh, you are in my game. Join join my thing. Hold on, dude. Also, why is there an F by your character's name? F? Yeah, like, if you push down... There's an F by your by your profile picture, and I, I almost don't see wonder it. if it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, there's a. To oh, that stands for friend. It's by it'll. So it would be by my name for me. It's saying that you're my friend on Xbox. That's what. Yeah. It's, that's what it's there for. For a second, I thought you it stood for female. <laughs> I was like, yes, this one <laughs> is a girl. Um, <laughs> even though you're not. And then I was Don't like, no, oh, there's another girl on the thing. No, nah, I mean, it's like, not to have uh, another uh, Let's Play Together Rooster Teeth dependency, but, um, you know, as Jack says, 
if you're gonna play as a character all day and like stare at the back of a character all day, it might as well be someone with a nice butt. Like, That's why I play as a female. Like it's decent logic. Um, I respect my whammon, so it wouldn't be logic that I would ever use, but it's decent logic. Um, I'll meet you at the office. Sound good? I think I'm across, yeah. I'm across the street from it. Okay, then I'll meet you there. Someone asked me why I play as them. Why you play what? Why I play as girls in games. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so because some games... They have better watch. Oh yeah, no. Um, uh, Martin all the time tells me about how there's a lot of games where, um, since girls are, you know, generally like they're a skinnier character, they actually have a smaller hitbox, and so there's like an actual tactical advantage in playing with the female model on a game. Hmm. I know. Never yeah, I mean, it, it depends on the game, but. Yeah, like, it's actually kind of smart. Yeah. Of course, I'm sure there's some games that would nerf that by just going and making it so the hitbox is the same for every character, but that's a, at the same time kind of BS. Call of Duty does that. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. What the f Why the fuck were you there, car? Okay, the only uh, reason why they'd... I am almost at the thing. Oh, you're right, I didn't, but I do see you running away from somebody lying down on the ground. You want to get in? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh. What just happened on my screen? Oh, is it locked for you? Yeah. Uh, vehicles. Vehicle access. Through in friends. Try now. Up. Oh, you did put in friends? I just do passages. I don't. Did you do this? Did you do this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like a, treat you like a dog and rub your nose in it. Oh my that? gosh. I don't know. Yeah, I did that. Ow. Oh gosh. Hi, cop. I feel like we're gonna die, so let me just uh, try and get out of here. You know what game? I, you know what they should do? What should they do? You know how we were talking? You were talking earlier about that I update the video to like, new movies and all that. Yeah. Instead of mo, okay. Instead of movies, lot start to do their game. What do you mean? Like come out with new right. like of the games that are on um on the TV like in the offices and stuff. No, I on the radio. Right. Oh, have you ever heard? Have you heard the new game by Rockstar, Red Dead Redemption Two? Oh yeah, that actually would be a cool idea if like they made it so that way like the because i was talking about updating the announcers and stuff like that too to make them more current that would be cool if they were to go and be like yo did you guys hear about this new game by rockstar industries that would actually be really cool because the um the announcements and stuff like that when you're loading gta 5 i mean i'm a, like a terribly slow reader i will admit that but like I, there's a lot of them where I can't finish reading it by the time they switch it over. So it would actually be kind of cool if they made a, another radio station that was like just for announcements. Hey, I got two thousand dollars for continued good behavior. I know I joined the lobby and got two thousand dollars. I joined the lobby. I joined the lobby a few days ago and I got um. Uh, I got what was it? <laughs> two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Like I was just awarded that. I don't even know why they give out those awards. They do it for, like, ongoing players. Like, I feel like it's just for people that are a lower level that it's like, here, take I take pity on you so that way you can afford cool things like jets. 
see right. I did right. The other day I walked on GTA 5 on my PlayStation. Mm -hmm. I got $3 million. $3 million? I've never gotten, well, I was going to say I've never gotten more than 2500 or 2500 uh, 250000 I think I've gotten 500000 a few times. So to be honest, this is the first time I've been on the military base without getting four stars. Oh really? Welcome. It's nice <laughs> not being a criminal here. I don't know if I have any product to sell. If I do, we'll sell that. If not, oh, uh, enter with nearby organization members. Wait. I'm excited for Red Dead 2. For what 2? Red Dead Redemption. Oh, um, I don't really know much about the game, but it looks good. I got a cool pistol because of it, so that's cool. Okay, See, if yeah, you played the first one, you'd be excited for the second one. Yeah, I haven't played the first one. Okay, we're going to sell some medical supplies. All right. I'm a drug dealer. Dealer of medicinal drugs. See, yeah. I have a handle on my PlayStation, but it's at the airport. You're going to fly, okay? Sweet. And then I'm going to go steal a laser. Because, cool trick, when you're on these hey, selling so missions, you, know those signs you, get on packages you don't, that say fragile. You don't uh, get a one in level for stealing a jet. And also, when you're not doing a mission, if you go and steal a jet, as long as, like, if there's a military guy around there, he will shoot you in the face and you will die. But if there's not, then, um... You will. You can steal the plane, and you get like three, uh, like three stars. But that's not enough for them to shoot you down. Um, I don't see a fucking jet. Where the fuck are the jets? I don't know how I feel. Oh, I'm gonna die. Why? No. Why are you gonna die? What did you do? So I'm not used to flying this tiny plane. Damn it, we're not. Oh, hey, look at that, a laser spawned. Oh, wow, look, a lot of lasers spawned. Wait, where are you? I'll come pick you up. Tell me what's what. I know I did it. So, uh, hey, how's the weather? And how about them panics? What a ball team. Oh, the delivery. I know, I yeah. said. I know the delivery didn't happen. No I have one. Right? Just not on this account. No yeah, you know, I'm not gonna tell you, but I will tell you this: that Ron just told me. Like Ron's very upset. He just told me too. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. Wait, where are you? Oh, you were on base already. I like just got off base to come pick you up. So don't pick me up. Why? What'd you do? I saw a tank. Why would you steal a tank? Steal a laser. I was literally just going to tell you I need you to go steal a laser and just start doing, um, like, start doing flights around. I, I see a general. Actually, I don't know if he's a general. Did you die? No. Oh, okay, because there was this guy over here that was pissed and then he wasn't. Wait, don't blow up other lasers. We need them. You can blow up anything else, just not, don't blow up lasers. Dude, you just fucking wrecked that Humvee. Holy shit, I'm gonna go check to see if there's any survivors. Oh, there is not. That is a lot on fire. Hello, Sergeant. You got a Marine in dress. Uh, service Alphas, I believe, is what the Marines call them. Um, he's coming straight for you. Oh, that was very close to my car, McNutt. Uh, I would, I'd, I'd help bunce you. I don't think I can. I died. You see that? Where are you? Uh, give me one second. I'm on the base. Oh yeah, you are. Hey. Here, I'm gonna go drive you over to a laser. Yeah, so I need you to go steal that laser. 
and not be a Gavin. And um, and then just fly to Trevor's airfield. Like, just fly circles until you don't have a wanted level anymore and then land at Trevor's airfield. You also, my bad, I can call last day. You could do that too, but it's by the time that you get to Trevor's airfield, you shouldn't have a wanted level anymore. Have you landed at the airport? Drones might be the method of choice for globalist bombers, but we like to keep things old school. Now get in the plane. One of you is bombing, the other is flying. Then take out a bunch of stockpiles on roofs around the city. When you find the cargo, mm. bring it in. Alright, I'm gonna need you to stay in your laser. In the meantime, I think think you should be able to blow up the stuff that you would need to if you were the bomber. Oh, it says wait for the other passenger to get in the aircraft. So I guess you actually have to be in here. Uh, I can actually land at the airfield. So I'm going to uh, stay there and I'll land at the airfield. Main runway clear. This is clear. Okay, I got a helicopter on my six. Are they are they at me or no? No, they don't pass you. Okay. This fucking plane. Always watching the map. All right, cool. See, I did. I like playing GTA Five on the Xbox more. Dude, I fucking Just love because. flying on the Xbox. No, you wanna why? Why? Now everyone on PlayStation or kill with this mission, we will have people after us. Um, I mean, trust me, they'll be after us on here too. That's why I had you. Then, uh, and then other people semi hate me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Hey, you want to stop right. dropping bombs while we're going over the city? I don't want to accidentally hit someone. All right, now we need to take out these targets. Drop on. Ow. You know, I'm gonna be honest, this plane does not move fast enough for me to dodge missiles. Are they after us, or are people after us? Uh, I don't know if it's people or if it's people on the mission, but I'm certainly beeping. Oh, it's that one I, at least. I, I hear you beeping, or... Oh, did you, de did you deploy flares? No. Dude, I don't know where these are coming from. Ugh. It, we are smoking. Yeah, we are. I cannot drop bomb when you're at an angle. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, this is why I had you on depression detail. Got it. Uh, but we are going a bit down. <laughs> Direct hit, you got him. I'll send over the next GPS. Okay. On my way, Ron. I'm gonna get up to altitude just so I can stay at it. Like, I'm seeing... Oh, you're dropping bombs. No. What? Stop it. Stop walking onto us. We're so high. God damn it. Aircraft down, execute plan B if there is one. Uh, yeah, this is plan B. Thank God for jet features. I died. What? You died? Yeah, you turned into suicide. I see that. 
Dude, why'd you do that? Choose life, man. I didn't want to drive. Nailed it. I landed exactly for where I wanted to. How far away are they? Oh, dude. I was thinking that maybe I could snipe from where... I oh my gosh. Did you do that? No. Uh, well, I got a fucking great view of that. Uh, Why? What happened? I don't fucking know what we're doing. Um, get a car. Um. I, I'm, I'm trying to. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, I did have a reserve hey. parachute. That apparently doesn't work. Uh, anyway, so no, I landed on the roof, right? So that way, see if yeah. I can get a sniping angle. And, um, I meant, like, buy a car, but, or, ask for one. Anyway, so I, I was thinking maybe I could snipe, right? And, um, yeah. I'm, like, looking at the building, and I was like, oh, that's way too far away. As I'm looking at it, the entire roof just explodes in one big explosion, and everyone dies. And I was like, oh. I wish I did that, but no. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck just happened? It was like it got fucking orbital striked. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I don't fucking know. Yes, I know. We're not flying, we're driving. What? What the fuck is that guy doing? I, I'm, I'm driving here. <laughs> Are you mad to drive me down the road and just see someone so reverse? I'll hook you up. It's on the way. Is it mechanic? Is it on the way? Oh fuck, there it is. No, you're back here. <laughs> what the fuck? I need to go get my bike. <laughs> I'll meet you there. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Sorry, woman, I'm commandeering your vehicle. Oh gosh, the GPS coordinate changed. I like how we did to the location in Austin. Is that, yep, over here. Yeah, I guess that's plan B. You're too old for this car I'm staring at. Okay. Are you laughing at what you heard me? Yeah, I heard you. I don't I don't know what the context was. Oh, you see. Are you streaming? No. No? I mean, I guess I will see you in some there. They're on top of my house. They're on top of my house. Excuse me, pull off the prank, off. or the prank, the trick that I could never do before. Oh, I'm not gonna live. That's a shame. That would have been cool had I been wearing body armor. I was not, and therefore, I died. <laughs> Wait, did you say my, my personal vehicle has been destroyed? That's actually helpful. By the way, what I just pulled off was like fucking magic. More I mean, I, I didn't survive. We're here to help. I'll look Isn't into that? it. No charge. I Can't call my uh, car for two minutes and twenty seconds. In my back, rather. Cool car you got there. Mm, I need to commandeer your vehicle. Or drive away. It's such a cool vehicle I could have commandeered to. How about yours? You should do. Oh. 
Do you have a way to get up there? We talk Pegasus. Yeah, do you have any Pegasus vehicles? I'm too broke to get like a cargo bob or anything like that, but if you get a cargo bob, I'll hop in and gun her on the side. Why the fight is this? Oh my god, it's that's the other way at the fucking airport. I might be able to pick it up. I'm on a flying bike. I'm on my way. I, oh, actually, cool. I actually was able to just do some damage to them. You did a lot. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I did. Wow. That man just took a missile. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we wear body armor, the equivalent to leather in GTA 5. I just pulled off a trick that people have been trying to pull off for like as long as the oppressor has been out. I just fucking did it again too. Mm, but I'm not gonna survive this one. Oh, but I did though. I saw in five thousand dollars. Woo, I'm rich. Got it. <laughs> you know the one thing that's left to be blown up? What? An explosive barrel. <laughs> Lining up the shot. I missed. I just can't make it with the oppressor. One bullet. Two missiles. One oh, kill. I just... Are you? Go the fuck away. Yeah, see, I'm like almost godly level when it comes to my oppressor. I literally, to, to do that, to shoot that thing with one bullet and blow up that last barrel, I flew into the air, drove on a vertical wall of a nearby skyscraper to get my boost back. Went and tried to line up a shot, missed, um, but pulled away before I slammed into the roof. Drove off another vertical wall of a skyscraper, um, and then went and performed an aerial precision landing with an oppressor. Survived it. Uh, don't didn't even fall off my bike if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong about that. Um, and then fucking went, got off my bike. Well, first I tried to shoot it twice with a missile. Um, but yeah, got off my bike and landed the shot. And then other times, I do things like that. I was going to say, which is why I always wear a parachute. Didn't work. Rip. Are you nearby? No, I'm in the airport and trying to get my vehicle. Yeah, because if you're not nearby with an Apache, we have a minute to do this. But someone stole it, so I'm trying to get a vehicle. 
Start to meet you. There are explosions that are happening here. Got it. Oh, I didn't complete it though. Five seconds. Oh, damn it, all those fucking fences. Yeah, that's a shame. I mean, we did spend two minutes going and getting the thing here, but that's kind of a lot to do with only a bomber in a public lobby. Yeah. But them tricks, though. I pulled off them tricks, so it's okay. And I got 32 bucks. <laughs> Oh, hang on, hang on. Fifteen more. Forty percent. This is why I wish I owned a laser. Because if I owned a laser, then I can be anywhere, and then I can just call my mechanic and be like, Hey, will you deliver me one laser, please? And he'd be like, Alright, I'll give that to you, Johnny, on the spot. And then there's just a laser parked on the road. <laughs> and then I just get off, and then I, you know, and fucking fly and blow it up. And then if they blow it up, guess what? No charge, because it wasn't my fault. <laughs> so, but I don't have money to afford a laser. Did you know that a laser is literally a hundred dollars? In GTA or in... No, like a, a laser in GTA 5 is a hundred dollars of real life money. Are you serious? I am wholly serious. No, okay, so I died and I respawned. Dude, I'm and then there are two ways for me. <laughs> Sorry, I found With no stars. And it said you were after all and I ended up with... Four stars. <laughs> Dude, that, that was so gangster what I just did. I just fucking, uh... I just am like fucking Michael right now, and I'm just pedaling along on my bike, and I just, I'm just holding out my Uzi as I pedal along on my bike. <laughs> 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 this is so great. Oh, fucking man. bike, bye! I just killed someone. I just fucking, I assume it was a woman, but I don't know. I just fucking shot a woman in the back of the head, like, full-on uh, Sons of Anarchy style, spoiler alert. Um, even though, you know, that was like many, many seasons ago, and a long, long time ago. You should have seen it by now if you were going to. Anyway, um, dude, like, full-on pedaling the wrong on my bicycle. That's fucking great. Let's go in the video. So this has been Let's Play Together. Oh, I fucking just put on my little biking helmet. Uh, this has been Let's Play Together, episode 2. Uh, I don't know what I'll call it yet, but we'll fucking find out later, I'm sure. I can't believe yeah. I just fucking went on a fucking bike by shooting with a fucking Uzi and killed someone too. Like, it was deadly. It wasn't just like some fucking bullshit. Like, someone actually died. Yeah, you do know it. NPC. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Uh, this has been TJ. Uh, McNutt, you want to say something? Yo. I mean, you want to say a goodbye? See you in the next video. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, fucking we.